How's it going, viewers? I'm back. How was your weekend? So in my last video, I asked you guys, what do you think about same-sex marriage? And this is what you guys came up with. Today's comic question of the day is, what's your favorite movie? So I was away at the cottage for the Canada Day long weekend. And as soon as I got there with my girlfriend and her mom, there was a bat inside of the house. It was the funniest thing ever. Let me show you guys a short clip of what happened. Uh, it's coming your way, Bob. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> mom, duck! <laughs> Lady, it's right there. You're gonna crush him! Oh. oh I flew Did he? Yeah. Okay, let's get into the first story of the day. All over the news was Jeremy Forrest. He's 30 years old and he's an elementary school teacher. He taught at Bishop Bell Elementary School and he was copying in a relationship with one of his students who was barely 15 years old. Her name was not released to the public because her identity is protected because of her age. They both admitted to having sex on many occasions. So he was awaiting trial to find out what his sentence is going to be. And this is when he was like, you know what, I'm not going to wait. He took the girl and fled to France. So now he's in the news for kidnapping one of his students. Seven days later in France, they were caught. Well, apparently the 15 year old student is very upset that her teacher is going to jail for five and a half years. She's telling everybody that he's not a pedophile. In fact, she was the one that led him on. And then she was like, you know what? I'm gonna be waiting five and a half years for him to get out of jail because I wanna have his babies. She loved her teacher so much that she allowed him to take her virginity. I don't even know what to question more, a student going after the teacher or the teacher having sex with a student. I mean this guy, he's married, he has a wife. So pretty much he's trading his wife for this 15 year old student. It just doesn't make sense, but what do you guys think of the story? But from here we move on. We all know by now that Nelson Mandela has been in hospital in critical condition. He is 94 years old and was taken to the hospital for the third time this year with a lung infection. While President Obama just recently paid tribute to Nelson Mandela. And by doing that Obama visited his cell where he spent 18 years of his life in. It's so sad to see Nelson Mandela in the hospital because everybody respects him now. He was the first ever black president in South Africa. He served from 1994 all the way to 1999. Let's just hope he has a speedy recovery and returns home safe. Okay, last story of the day for you guys. Let's talk about this picture here. A British tourist was stabbed 17 times. His name is Dwayne Ward and coincidentally he's 17 years old. So when he was visiting Turkey, all he can remember is going to this nightclub and kissing this local girl and then all of a sudden, bam, he was smacked in the back of the head. And then after that, he has no idea what happened. He was found unconscious, covered in blood the next day at a park. He needed a five hour life saving operation with a blood transfusion. Doctors are saying that he's so lucky to be alive. The attackers stripped him down naked and just left him there to die. One of the stab wounds just missed his heart. One of his lungs were punctured and his jugular was almost cut right open. He was stabbed so badly that his leg, his bone was actually chipped. Saying all that, he has made a remarkable recovery. But looking at all these pictures with them all patched up, still gives me shivers running down my spine. I mean, look at that tube that's coming out of him. They're draining blood. Maybe from his heart. That is so scary. That person you've been seeing in the pictures is his mother. I can't imagine what she's going through. It kind of makes you not want to travel, doesn't it? Anyways, guys, that's all the news stories I have for you guys today. I'll see you guys tomorrow.